What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Well Done Tanks. So tonight we're back down in the fish room and we are working on the lighting again in the fish room. So you may notice a couple videos now I really haven't been garbed up in the full Well Done Tanks attire. Just I'm working in the fish room so as I kind of progress on something and I get to that point I just grab the camera, hit record and I show you what I'm working on. But tonight we're working on the lighting again. So I did a previous video I can link up in a card that <clears throat> up in the corner talking about the lighting system that we're using on the breeding racks and they're hooked up to a, a smart plug that allows me to cr control that by Alexa, by my phone. So we're going to be doing the same thing behind me. So this is that shelving system we set up that we bought from Home Depot, uh, that heavyweight support system that I think they call it. But I want to show you specifically the lighting I'm going to be using on the top shelf. Now this is where I'm going to be using a rimless tank, so a really pretty tank. Uh, that tank is being sponsored by Houston Manzanita. Uh, he sent us out some incredible wood pieces and hardscape to use for this tank, so really excited to get that going. But the type of setup I'm going for, I wanted something a little different for the lighting. I didn't want anything clipped to the back of the tank. Um, I really thought about using two of the uh, Asta 20 LED lights. That's another light I've done a review on. I can leave that up in the car. Up in the, I can leave a link to that in the card in the corner as well. So I really thought about doing two of those lights just because it is, it's just a nice pendant light and they, it does great for growing plants and different things. But on this one, I wanted something kind of more mysterious looking. I also just wanted to try something new. So what we're gonna be using is these. This is a tiny little LED floodlight. Uh, this particular one is only 10 watts. It's, I mean, that's super, you know, super cheap to run, really bright. But like when I unbought, when I first unpackaged this, and I did buy these from Amazon, so I will be leaving a link down in the description below, an affiliate link uh, for this. But there are so many different kind of floodlights you can buy on there. But check this out. This is literally like three and a half inches long and two and a half inches tall. A tiny, tiny little light. And it, they get about some great light. So these are, a lot of YouTubers have used these, a lot of fish keepers have used these. Um, and this is one of those times I really wanted to experiment with them because I wanted a direct kind of that floodlight in certain parts of the tank, leaving some other areas a little more in the shadow. So really excited for this. And I will say, I specifically bought <clears throat> and looked for floodlights that already had the plug wired to them. Um, you can buy different types of the floodlights, different, different variants, where it will have the power cord, but you'll have to wire up your own plug. Uh, some people like that preference because you can actually customize how long the power cord is. I didn't want to mess with that, so I will be using a power cord from my power strip I just previously set up that will run these lights and I'll just tuck all the cords behind everything. Just, I just didn't want to mess with wiring stuff up and get it wrong. But I do like this though because it has the ground on this, but it's a tiny little light but packs a lot of, a lot of power. Let me kind of show you here what I mean. Let me see if I can kind of get this on camera here of how bright this little thing is. So there's no on off switch with these, so that's kind of the one that I shaved this morning. So that's kind of one of the bad things is if you wanted to use these where you were manually turning the light on and manually turning the light off, you would want to buy a, a plug that has a switch on it or hook it up to like a power strip that's only on that. So that's the only real downfall to this is you don't have the full custom ability with that. But with those, uh, those smart plugs we're using, I'll leave a link down in the description below, it takes all that away. You know, this, it gives you, jeez, forget that's on. It gives you a, an automatic plug, timers, all that. And that's what I wanted. So as you can kind of tell, it, it packs a little bit of a light here. So we're going to have two of these up here, one on either side, and this tank is going to be 36 inches long. So I kind of set it up in quadrants of where I want them. And to hang these, that's what I did here. I just built this simple wood frame just to allow me to hang these lights over the tank. And we're just going to be using uh, a bolt, some washers, and the nut just to connect all that. And that's what is nice. They do come with the, um, the hanging apparatus on these already. So let's go ahead and get these up installed and we'll kind of talk more from there. All right, so I got done installing the two lights up. Like I said, just a simple, a simple bolt. I don't know what I'm gonna call these things. I'm gonna call them a bolt. 
you know, just a bolt and a nut. Nothing crazy, but we drilled this to pilot hole. This is just simple one by two, so it's really easy to work with. I just spray painted it black just to kind of keep with the, the theme of everything, just make it look somewhat decent. And just a simple, simple, simple light fixture. So this could be, again, this could be done. You could put plants right here. You could put beta tanks right here. That's what has become, <clears throat> this shelf has become so universal in application that I still think this is one of the best things I have found for this hobby. So again, these are just two 10 watt LED spotlights. And I purposely went with a low wattage, small fixture, because I didn't want it to take away from the tank. And I say, so I kind of say dark, turn the lights off, so I wanted to show you what these were. This nice spotlight effect, but you still get some decent coverage throughout the tank. So I'll still be able to grow some plants, you know, low light plants, no issue. If I was doing using these, let's say in like a 55 gallon or a 75 gallon, 120 gallon, you know, something bigger, I would absolutely upgrade the wattage of these LEDs. So you're gonna get some decent penetration. But the tank we're using is only 12 inches tall. So they will be fairly, in some, in, in some instances, they will be fairly close to the tank. Um, I can make these taller and kind of sit there, but I just, I just wanted this specific look I'm going for. So we'll have to get the tank up here, kind of mess with it, see how we like it. But I wanted hard light spots, shadow area, hard light spot, shadow area. So I'm hoping as we get the hardscape in, it's just gonna create some really cool shadowing effect. But again, wanted to show you another really cheap, simple option for a, a good LED, like a budget LED light for your fish tanks. And with these hanging applications, you can literally create any way that you wanna hang your light. PVC pipe, wood, metal, hang it from your wall. Like you could literally mount it to the wall. And man, I, I ooh, that's actually a good idea. I gotta think about that now. <laughs> Jeez, we're here on camera and I built this, you know, light hanger, but now that I'm really thinking about this, can you imagine taking this light, mounting it to the back wall? And because you can move these, right? You can completely angle these how you want to. Can you imagine hooking it to this back wall and ink? Oh my gosh, that might be a great idea. Hook it to the back wall and angle it down towards the tank. Oh my gosh. All right, something I gotta think about, but. Again, wanted to show you just a new option, a good option, and we'll definitely do more updates of these lights as we get this tank going. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one. If you are not already, please hit the subscribe button as we still got plenty of projects to do here in the fish room. But again, I just, we're moving. We are moving, we're getting things going. So thank you again, thanks for joining me. We'll see you guys on the next one.